Then he met with people who live in St. Augustine over what to do next. Yeah, it's all over a violent brawl at the restaurant just over a week ago during Reggae Sunday. Here's some cell phone video of that fight. Several people were hurt, some even sent to the hospital with injuries. Tonight's meeting was held at another restaurant where the city's manager listened to dozens of residents' concerns and shared the city's next steps of action. Francesca Amaker was there. City leaders asked people for their suggestions. Francesca? Well, just to put some things in perspective for you, over my shoulder, this is where the party rages. This is where the Conk House restaurants actually sits. But let's go ahead and look a few yards away. This is where people actually live. And this is why they have so many complaints. I moved in July 4th, 1979, across from the Conk House. And how's the experience been since then? Downhill. Vicki Selner has watched the rise of the Conk House for the last 30 years. But she says the brawl that recently broke out at Reggae Sunday was the tip of the iceberg that now has these residents calling the city to act. I have people making out on my cement bench in the yard. I have people taking their clothes off, vomiting. Uh, all kinds of parking violations. And those same issues were brought to the attention of the city manager, John Regan, at a community meeting held Wednesday night. What we're hearing is that the, the conch house is, uh, is so intense and become so large that it's out of proportion with the neighborhood and it's degrading the quality of life and it's time for things to change. And residents recommended lots of change, suggesting the city enforce a maximum capacity at the restaurant, make Reggae Sunday a ticketed event, Require certified security or hire off duty police officers to work special events. Another hot topic at the meeting was neighborhood parking. Within the neighborhood, because there's such a commuter load, there are tools that the, the, the neighbors can uh, advocate for that control parking in the neighborhood. And they range from residential parking to post it no parking to yellow curbing. But people like Amber Wayne say those suggestions would only limit their ability to park as they pleased. We have pay a lot of money to, for our taxes to live in this neighborhood. I constantly am, am picking up trash. What the, the, the impact that the Conk House has every Sunday is far greater than the impact that we have on a daily basis. And there's all kinds of ways it can be uh, to, to get solutions but I'm glad that they're finally listening that there is a problem. Again, you can see from that meeting, a lot of people were in that meeting tonight, and a lot of people are talking about the conch house here. Now, I did speak with the city manager, John Regan, and he told me that he will be working with the president of the Neighborhood Association to come to some sort of agreement. We'll find out when that meeting is, and of course, this will be a hot topic The News for Jax will be following. So as soon as we find out when there'll be another neighborhood meeting, we'll be sure to be at that meeting, and we'll give you the live, the, the latest updates. We're now reporting live from Chesca Channel 4, the local station.